here are three good pieces of evidence for the empty tomb. Okay, so the first thing is that Christianity started in Jerusalem. And if anyone would have been able to disprove that the tomb was empty, it would have been the people who were right there by the empty tomb. They could have just shown the body and yet there was no body to show. The second piece of evidence is the fact that Jesus' enemies also confirmed that the tomb was empty. Now the gospels report that shortly after the resurrection, people were starting rumors that the disciples stole the body, which means that the tomb was empty because why else are you accusing the followers of Jesus of stealing the body? Now this is a side note because I already know some of y'all like you can't use the Bible to prove the Bible, but the Bible is a historical document. If Bart Ehrman, who is a non-Christian, who is an atheist says we can use this Bible as a historical document, then we can use it as a historical document. Amen and amen. All right, the third piece of evidence for the empty tomb is the fact that the gospels use the testimony of women to report about the resurrection of Jesus. Now that last part probably doesn't sound very significant, but it is significant because back then women's testimony didn't really mean a hill of beans. So it's unlikely that they would have used the word of these women unless the women had actually been eyewitnesses to the event. 